A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about animal based foods versus plant based foods. Which one is superior and why? Are we actually herbivores pretending to be omnivores and thus paying a heavy price? We love meat, we love eggs and we love dairy. Yes, we love cheese. But does it love you back? Are we killing animals and then they kill you back with disease? We all know that meat, eggs and dairy have no fiber, but they are actually high in total fat, saturated fat and cholesterol that comes exclusively from animal products. Studies have shown that even when fed 200 times the amount of animal fat and cholesterol that the average human consumes each day, carnivores do not develop the hardening of the arteries that leads to a heart disease and strokes in humans as the editor in chief of the american journal of cardiology noted 25 years ago no matter how much fat and cholesterol carnivores eat they do not develop atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries we can feed a dog 500 eggs worth of cholesterol and they just wag their tail a dog's body is used to eating and getting rid of excess cholesterol the same is not true of humans human bodies on the other hand weren't designed to process animal flesh so all the excess fat and cholesterol from a meat based diet makes us sick heart disease for example is the number one killer in the us according to the american heart association and medical experts agree that this ailment is largely the result of consumption of animal products meat eggs and dairy meat eaters have a 32% higher risk of developing heart disease than vegetarians or vegans do the okinawan okinawan people of japan are one of the largest herbivorous cultures on the planet and they are also said to be the healthiest and live the longest There is no way that this is a coincidence. Herbivores have an ideal weight. They are the only category of humans, a human to be within the recommended healthy BMI ranges. Now let's talk about talk about proteins. <coughs> proteins. All plants contain protein, even rice and bananas. <coughs> you get protein every time you eat a plant food. Let's check out a fun fact. Spinach and kale have nearly twice as much protein as beef calorie for calorie. Our protein obsessed culture forgets that meat protein in meat is built from plants. That's right. Most farm animals are herbivores, plant eaters. So when you eat the plants yourself, you are effectively cutting out the middleman. Humans are virtually certain of getting enough protein from plants as long as they consume sufficient calories. In fact, you could literally eat nothing but potatoes all day and still exceed your daily protein needs. Now let's talk fiber. Vegan diets rich in vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds and legumes, legumes are much more likely to easily yield the amount and kind of fiber your body needs to maintain good digestive health peas beans and apples contain soluble fiber which slows digestion and helps the body absorb nutrients from food soluble fiber dissolves in water and helps and helps control blood sugar levels and reduce cholesterol good sources include barley oatmeal beans nuts and fruits such as apples berries citrus fruits citrus fruits and pears many foods contain both soluble and insoluble fiber now let's talk antioxidants on an average plant foods have 64 times more antioxidant power than red meat poultry fish dairy and eggs a low carbohydrate diet is quackery it is popular bad science It's a mistake it's a fad at some point we have to stand back and look at the evidence 
you look at the people across the world who are thinnest who are the thinnest the healthiest and live the longest they are not following anything remotely like a low carb diet look at japan japan has the longest lived people what is the dietary staple in japan they are eating huge amounts of rice a plant based diet now let's talk about phytonutrients phytonutrients also called phytochemicals are chemicals produced by plants plants use phytonutrients to stay healthy for example some phytonutrients protect plants from insect attacks while others protect against radiation from uv rays ultraviolet rays phytonutrients can also provide significant benefits for humans who eat plant foods they fight for you actually Phytonutrient rich foods include colorful fruits and vegetables legumes nuts tea whole grains and many spices so let's conclude this discussion do i need to tell you which one is superior a plant based diet or an animal based diet guys you have a very good day bye bye peace